time with Picking Boots Vintage down in sunny Southwest Florida. And today we are going to be working with the new paint inlays from um, the new fall release. They come in two different patterns and we're gonna be playing with the rose chintz today. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, these are revolutionary. They're new, patent pending. There's nothing like it. It's not decoupage. It is not a transfer. It is totally unique. So let me show you really quick what the two patterns are currently. So we have this one. Let me just click that. This one is blue. And this one is the indigo floral. Beautiful. And then we have this one. That is the rose chintz. And if you're familiar with a lot of antiques and different things, you know that this pattern is famous and is on like a lot of old pottery, like plates and stuff like that. So we are going to be doing um, it on a couch today. Now, before I get started, let me show you what the couch looked like before. So this is it right here. It is just a normal little settee and um, it's been reupholstered. This is vinyl. Let me just tell you, we are not gonna be putting it on fabric today. This is vinyl reupholstery. So it's a little bit easier to do when it's vinyl because when you get on fabric, it's a little bit different when adhering the paint, etc. but this was vinyl. So I've already got my, um, let me lower the camera a little bit. I've already got my base coat on. So I have the base coat on here. I'm gonna show you how you line these up and we're gonna put them on here. Yesterday, I went ahead and already put them on here because for them to work, they have to sit, the paint has to dry. After I show you how to put them on, I'm gonna show you how to take them off and what they look like. So we're gonna do it all today. And then I even have a section that is done on the back and I'll show you how we're gonna seal it. So. If you're interested in the new paint lays and how to use them, if you haven't seen them before, stick around to see the final because I'm gonna show you how to seal it. I'm gonna show you how to take the paint inlay paper off and get the masterpiece. These are, like I said, revolutionary. They're great, they're awesome. So if you are on watching, let me know where you're from and also let me know if you have used these before. If you've, have you ever seen them? Um, have you been seeing all the posts? I know all the different um, people that have been on with the IOD TV lately have been showing these but um, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to show you all on this couch and I will be bringing you up close when we start applying these what I do want to show you real quick is let me grab one um, on the back of there are grid lines see the grid lines these help you lay out and line up where you're going to put them also What's very, um, hey everybody, yay! Thanks Jan, I'm glad you're joining us. Okay, so if you notice there's a little bit of an edge here. So before you get started, if you wanna match these up, you just wanna cut, cut that down so when you do put them on, you can match them up. So these are made to go together. Um, if, you, if you lay them all out, I know um, Iron Orchid Designs has thought of all of it, on the back of the cover, you can see where they all line up and how you can put them. If you're doing a big project, that's gonna be huge. If you're doing a smaller project, not so much, you can just stick it on. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started because this stuff is awesome. Now, you hear the word paint inlay and you're wondering, well, what the heck is a paint inlay? Well, we're actually going to lay it in the paint. So. We have to have paint and then we stick it on and then we activate it with some water and then we let it dry. So let's get started. Let me bring one camera closer just so you can see up close. Um, let me get that going. I don't want to put it in front of the light. So here, let's go. Um, no, let's go this way. Let me do that again. So you can still see me, but you can also see up close. So we're going to be putting these on. Let me show you. So what I've already, I've already done this. I've already laid them out. I've already cut the edges because you wanna make sure the edges are cut so when you line them up, can you see that? Let me zoom the camera in just a little bit further. You can see that they are 
lined up. So the pattern continues, so it looks like it's an actual piece of fabric. So we're going to start here, and then we're going to work on the rest of the edges of the couch, just so you can see how that is done, how you can piece it together. So I'm going to put this piece to the side, because that is my side. We're going to go ahead and just move these for a second, because we need to apply the paint. The paint, this is very important because this is what's going to make your paint inlay stay on here. Just using regular old chalk paint. I'm using an off-white. This pattern really you can use pretty much any color. I've seen some people that have used this pattern with some pink, with blues, whatever. So when you're putting your second coat of paint on, you want to put it um, not too thin, but again, not too heavy. You want to make sure that your paint doesn't dry before you can get your paint inlay on. Um, so I'm going to just quickly give this a nice coat of paint right where we're going to be putting the inlays. The paint does not have to be perfect. Again, this is a couch and this is vinyl. I'm not painting over fabric is vinyl, so it's a little bit different if you're painting um, fabric. There is a great tutorial by another IOG stockist that I've seen. She did it, I think it was a chair with this pattern. Really pretty. Okay, so now I have a nice layer of paint on here. See that? All right, let's start with the first. So I'm going to go ahead and put this. Here's this one. So I'm just going to put it right off. I'm going to go right in the center because I'm going to build my pattern out. And I've already lined it up with the top fabric. And I'm just going to simply put it on and press it into the paint. Just like that. You may get a wrinkle or two, but that's okay. If you're using this on wood, you may want to use your brayer just to push it in. I apologize about the comments. The camera's a little bit further back then, and I can't really see it, but I will definitely answer them when I'm finished. So please put the comments in there or questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, so I'm grabbing my second one, and I already have it lined up where I'm going. I know the pattern. I did this ahead of time. You definitely want to do it ahead of time so you can make sure you have your pieces that match up correctly before so you can get them on while the paint is still wet. Okay, so I'm just putting it on and I'm giving it a nice firm push. And then we have, we're going to put this one over here. Lining it up. giving it a nice firm push. Make sure I'm rubbing it on. See that okay in the camera? Hello, or rather raining. Oh, raining in Ireland, no! <laughs> All right, so now in order to set these, you need to have water. So I just have a rag and some water. Show the camera. And I'm going to just Lightly put it on, and you'll notice, do you see the color change? This is what is activating and setting the paint inlay into the paint. Think of it kind of like when you were a kid and you had um, a little tattoo, and you're putting it on the back of your hand. You always got it wet from the top, and then it went through to your skin. Kind of like that. Okay, 
coming to the other side over here. There we go. So now what we do is we let this dry. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the camera out just a little bit so you can see further away. Ta-da! Let's see. How's that? All right, so now I'm going to show you how to piece the different parts together. Like I said, um, they were very smart the way they have these grid lines worked out where they just match on the end. So, now this one, let's see, um, let me just double check. Um, da -da 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 -da. So we're gonna stick it here, it matches perfectly here. And then this side will match perfectly over on this side. So we are going to just cut it right up the middle. Let me just grab my scissors. That way, we're using the same sheet, excuse me, I should have had my scissors closer. I apologize. So I'm going to cut off this edge. Put this here. And I already know that this fits right over here. Now it's only going to, it won't stick here where the paint is not active. It's only going to stick with the paint is wet, though it has been sitting for a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit more on just because. So I'm going to remove the backing of the paper and I'm going to stick it on. You'll see better when I get over to the other side. Move line it up. And now this paper that is extra won't stick because this paint is not wet. So I'm just gonna firmly push that on and then I'm gonna use my water to activate it and give it another firm push. I don't wanna push too hard because I don't want to rip it. But I do wanna make sure I have water on there. There we go. Now we'll do the same to the other side. So I'm going to make sure, because you always want to make sure that you're using the right side of the paper. <laughs> um, so I'm going to match it up, and it matches up right there. So I don't need this much, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it just a little bit on this line. That's why these lines are really nice to have. See these grid marks? That way you know you are cutting a straight line. <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of paint to reactivate, make sure that it's still wet. Just definitely want to make sure the paint is wet while you're doing this. And then I just need to lift this up just a hair because when I put these on, I got the left one and the right one backwards. So there was a the little lip that I forgot to cut off, but it was still wet so I could lift it up. All right, so let's line this up here. I'll put that back over. There we go. Get some water to activate it. Give it a nice firm push. Make sure it's coming translucent. Now, there's a little bit of the couch that didn't get any, but I can patch that later. I'm not worried about that right now. What I'm worried about is my pattern. I want my pattern to line up and I want it to look like it's one big piece of fabric rather than just a hodgepodge. So right now I have these all lined up. Now the fun part. Let's do this part. <laughs> it's really a lot easier than you think. Let me just grab them. I have them over here. They're ready to go. I don't have a lot. I'm in my back workspace, 
Normally I have my pretty wall with my pretty wallpaper, but this was too big to do in that room, so I have to do it in the back workroom. All right, so I have these sheets here, and they're all cut up, ready to go. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna grab this one here, and we're gonna make sure that this is the one that goes, lines up. When I put them down, I may have got them backwards. Nope, it definitely goes this way. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it around like this, but just like the sides, the top needs to be trimmed too. So you just take your little scissors and we're gonna trim the top. Now I'm gonna do, um, again, these are so new that there will be trials and there will be errors. This on the bottom here, I forgot to cut the bottom off, but since the paint is still wet when it was activated, I can just fold that up so I can put that down. The paint is still wet, but it looks like it's a little dry here, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more paint. Because you definitely wanna make sure your paint is ready to go. I'm gonna be careful not to get the wood because I don't want the paint inlay to stick to the wood. All right, so I'm lining up. I can see the pattern. I'm not sure how well you can see that on the camera, but I'm trying to get you guys in as close as possible. So I'm gonna give it a nice rub. I'm gonna put the other two on and then we'll water activate it. But right now it's sticking nicely onto the paint. Let me fold this one up ahead of time. So mental, make a side note, when you're continuing them on, not just to the sides, but also to the top and bottom, you wanna trim the top and bottom too. That's something that I neglected to do, but it's not a big deal, it's an easy fix. So I'm gonna make sure that I have the right one here, but let's make sure it lines up. Yes, it does. Get a little paint to activate. Make sure that it's wet. Before you lay these on, if you don't want a textured look, you can give it a light sanding to your chalk paint. But if you were making a cool sign or putting on like an old piece of furniture, that texture, the different layers of the chalk paint, really make it, um, make it unique. I love texture and layers, so for me, the more texture, the more layer, the better. Because of the, it makes it look more authentic. All right, so let's put this on here, line it up everywhere. Making sure I pick that up where I Give it a nice rub. It's looking pretty. All right, now let's make sure this one, yep, just gotta cut the top off. Again, with the grid line, it makes it really easy to cut straight. Now, if you wanna see what this is gonna look like, make sure you stick around because we're gonna take this off. I did this yesterday. I'm gonna show you how to activate it and then pull it off and you will see the final result. It is amazing. I know because I did a sample on the back. <laughs> I always have to test my stuff before I go live because you just always wanna be prepared. Um, and then with the section on the back, I'm gonna show you what, how you could seal it because you wanna make sure you protect it. A little bit more down here. Wanna be you want to make sure you have paint for the paint inlay to take. Okay, there we go. Now again, this little lip down here because I didn't cut it. It's still wet though, so I can pull it back. But I know all you guys are gonna be professionals after watching this and you'll know to cut all your edges. 
Alright, so we're going to stick this, making sure it's closed. There we go. Perfect. And a nice line and a rub. Now we're going to, um, I'm going to cut off the bottoms of here and we're going to attach up here to both sides. I just want you guys to see how you can piece it together. Then we're going to go and take off this. All right. So I'm going to cut this right about here. Now, because this is like, these are the corners, they don't have to be exactly perfect because what you really want is when somebody's looking, you'll look at the front of the couch, not necessarily the sides, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm just gonna put it like this. So let me get some paint to reactivate, or get it so we can activate it, and put the paint inlay to stick on. There we go. And stick it right there. Oops, shift it a little bit. And give it a nice rub. Now I'm just gonna rub it around the corner. And it's okay if it looks a little wrinkle around the corner, because think about it, when you put fabric or you're recovering something, it does get crinkly and wrinkly, right? The fabric doesn't stay 100% unwrinkled. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this one off here. And we're gonna put it right here. Let me pull the camera back just to scope so you can see that. There we go. So we're gonna activate like here. Not activate, we're gonna get some paint for the inlay. Which remember, it has to be wet. And I'm going to let's see, we need some flour, right? rub and get it to stick where it is wet. All right, so before the paint dries, we need to activate it. So we need to take our water. And I just have a bucket of water here, a little rag. You can use a sponge or whatever, and we're just going to press it firmly. Not too hard because you don't want to rip the paper. You want to push it into the paint because you want the inlay to sink into the paint. And you'll notice where I put it, it changes color. A little bit more. I'm hoping they come out with more patterns eventually because these are, are, are so much fun. I would definitely use the paint inlays on several different items. I have some old molding. It's like a blue and it's all chippy. And I would just love to put some of that on that chippy old molding. It's like a light turquoise. And then distress it just a tad. Oh, that's what I'm gonna be playing with next. All right, so here we go. We have it. We are <laughs> we are done with this. This will dry. Then once it's dry, we will take it off. But we gotta let it dry because we gotta let that inlay sink into the paint. Now these two sides on the couch. Let me change the camera angle again. Let's go solo. So these two sides on the couch. I am going to leave white, I think. Um, I, I think it might be too busy, and I don't want the couch to be too busy. I can always go back and add them if I want. I can maybe take one of these colors and match it and add you know, some different fun. But for right now, we're gonna leave it just like this because sometimes you don't need to do 
it all. Now, here comes the fun part. I know it's fun because, I, like I said earlier, I tested on a section on the back, and we're gonna look at that in, um, a little bit later because I'm gonna show you how to seal it. But for right now, we're gonna take this off. So, I need some more water, and I need to bring the camera in close. Yes, I will definitely do a video, but you're gonna have to probably either follow me on Instagram or Facebook because I don't know if it will be on IOD. I'm only on IOD every two weeks, and um, I don't know quite yet what I'm doing for that, but I, either way, I'll, maybe I'll bring it on that day if I have it done by then, and I can just show you what it looks like done. All right, so let's get this camera close. So I'm gonna change my camera angle so you can see the back coming off. Let's get this up close and let's just go right in. You don't need to see me. All right, there it is. So this is the wet part that I just put on. This is what I put on yesterday. You don't have to wait, you know, 24 hours to do it. I just wanted to be prepared because I wanted you all to see step by step by step how to do it without having to check back or look back. So here we go. Oh, all right. What you need to do is you need to, I'm hoping this shouldn't damage this at all. It's just a little bit of water. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wet rag and you're going to reactivate this. See, this is dry. We're gonna reactivate the paper and you'll notice, do you see the color change? So I'm just lightly applying some water to the dried paper. Now this is probably <laughs> the best part of this whole thing is to be able to take this paper off. When I was playing this week, I went to take a piece off and I didn't have it <clears throat> totally um, reactivated. I missed one little corner, so I went to pull it off, and it went come. I was like freaking. I was really nervous that I wasn't sure what I was doing. But then I just added a little bit of water to my rag, made sure it was wet, and it came right off, and it was beautiful. Again, if you are tuning in late, this was not a fabric couch. This is a vinyl couch. It is a multi-step process. This I started yesterday and I'm finishing up today. All right, so I just wanna make sure it's all activated and re-wet re before I start pulling. Now the really cool feature about these inlays is you can use it more than once. So as I pull these off, I'm gonna lay them flat to dry. But before I do that, I'll show you that the paint that is still on there. Each time I can keep using them but each time I use them, they will be a little bit lighter, but that's okay. So like when I do on my chippy boards, my blue turquoise boards I was telling you about, I'll probably want to use one that's not as bright because it'll appear as it's older. All right, so I'm gonna have my rag handy just in case. And let's, let's see how this goes. Let me. I need to activate. I guess I missed this right here. Let me get some more water on it. Sometimes I get so excited about the middle that I forget the edge. <laughs> All right. I'm going really slow just in case because I don't want to tear the paper. I'm really new at these, you know, because they are new. So I want to make sure that I'm doing it right because I did put a lot of water. But voila, look at that. Oh my goodness, can you see that? Oh, it's coming, hold on. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see the corner. There we go. I'm gonna use a little bit more water. I don't know why that's sticking so much. There we go, all right. I'm just pulling it straight down and look how beautiful.
Now the paper tore just a little bit, but that's okay. I'll lay that down there. Now look at what is left on. I still have enough if I want to do another project. I'm just going to let it dry. So I'm going to put on the sheet here to the side. Of course, you want to put the paint inlay side up. I'm guessing I didn't get enough water over here. There we go, because I have one little piece that's sticking. But you know what, we're not going to bother with that right now because I want to keep going over here. I want you all to see the rest of this beautiful piece. I'm just making sure that I activate the edges. It was seemed to be sticking on the edges. All right, let's go. Look at this. So easy. I'm going a little slow just to make sure I don't tear the paper. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Gorgeous. Love. I hope you guys love as much as I do. This is coming out beautiful. And you can see. The pattern, I did a pretty good job of lining it up. Not perfect, but you know what? I think I did good. <laughs> Just gonna make sure my edges again on this side too. Let's see, my um, kind of in the way the camera. Like if this is too bright for you, you can go ahead and take a nice uh, light sanding to it and maybe uh, give it a little bit of distressing. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, it's tearing right here. I need to get some more water. It's stuck, so I'm going to give it some water. So learn from this that you want to make sure that you soak the paper really good. All right, let's try that. Maybe we'll start from the bottom. Um, let's see. Can't really get a good grip on it. Now we're gonna continue from the top. I can't get a good grip on it. So I'm gonna pull off what I can here. There we go. Yeah. I'm trying to get it back to even. I can't do that. So I'm just gonna pull it. And even though I did tear the sheet, it is still usable. This is the sheet that I will use to fill in corners or little spots that I need to. Yeah, this is, it's only sticking because I didn't put enough water on it and let it sit long enough. Because you saw the middle one come off and it came off perfectly. Let me just make a one piece of paper here. All right. I get so excited that sometimes instead of waiting for the water to soak all the way in, I just want to go straight for it. So that is on me. Push that back down. There we go. All right. So look. And now that is on. I don't want to really play with it because it's still a little wet. What we are going to do though is I'm going to show you now what I did earlier in the week and I'm going to show you how to seal it. So I'm going to, I have to turn the couch. So just bear with me on the camera angle. I apologize in advance. I know it can get dizzy when people are moving the camera and everything, but I just want to be able to show you. So let's see if I can. If I can. There we go. Let me pull it out just a little bit back. If you guys don't have one of these carts, these are amazing. It's one of those, it's like a dolly lift. It works really good and it saves your back. All right, so let's get in real close here. What do you think? Da, da, da. 
I'll even get in closer so you can really see. Um, just drop it down just a little. There we go. So this is what I was working on. So you can see this. Now, as I was playing, because these are so new, you're going to learn. I use, if you look right here, it's a little bit smudged. That is because I was playing with different sealers. Well, this one, I used a spray wax. I don't recommend, it's too wet. What it did was it reactivated the paint and lace too much and it spread down. So what I did use, and which worked really well, was wax. And so, but this is something different. It's very similar to wax, but it's kind of like, um, just a clear sealer. So all I do is I just take my little fat brush and I'm just gonna lightly put it on here. You don't wanna overwork it because if you overwork it, you're going to reactivate the paint. Once you get one little thin coat on and let that dry, you can go back and put another coat on. So that is basically the paint and lace. Let me turn this back around. Let me get this camera out of the way. Um, this right here, I love it. Um, I will post finished pictures uh, with on the IOD site. I'll, I'll email them in and I'll post them. But when this dries, I'll be pulling these off. I'm going to give the outside and this part one more coat of paint because it just needs it. Oh, we should put probably two coats of paint on. And then I'm gonna give it a nice light distress and it will just make this couch perfect. I love it, I hope you guys loved it. I wanna say thank you to IOD for allowing me on the page and for you all for tuning in. There's a lot of talented people on this page and I am so blessed to be a part of this group. Um, in the details is a link to retailers that may be near you or online, you can order all of these from them or me or whomever. If this is something you know a friend would like to see or you just wanna share it, please feel free to share this video. And any questions that I didn't see on camera, because um, I need reading glasses and it's kinda of far away, I will be happy to answer. As soon as the live is over, I'm gonna go sit down and just answer your questions. All right, again, I am Shannon from Pick and Boots Vintage in Florida and I appreciate your time. Have a great day.